This is the 2016 iPhone SE, the pocket powerhouse A9 toting iPhone device. iOS 13 comes to it, giving this phone new life. Let's take a tour, let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to my tour of iOS 13 on iPhone SE confirming the software iOS 13 is on the device. Now first thing we're going to take a look at here is Apple iPhone SE's dark mode. This is an LCD display so you're not going to have the darkest you're going to see on any iPhone but you can access this through a long press in the brightness settings. You can see the whole wallpaper dynamically changes dark when you do turn on this dark mode. Heading into display and brightness you'll see light and dark modes are available and you can automatically schedule these from light until sunset or vice versa. Or you can turn it on whenever you do feel like it. So the dark mode also makes applications very dark, like calendar, for example. If we do go into Safari, that also will get dark. And if we go into another application, like the news, for example, you'll be able to read some news previews a little bit darker as well. Now, in addition to that, you know, things like the app store. So basically across the system, a lot more darker. So gonna be very easy on the eyes at night. Combine that with night shift and you should have a pleasant experience browsing in the nighttime with the iPhone SE upcoming on iOS 13. Now you notice those volume rockers in silent switch, classic for this device. If you click those, you now have a different volume HUD. You see it gets out of the way, which is a lot nicer than that big square in the middle of this already tiny screen distracting me. Next up, we have a silent mode switch. You can see the toggle looks a little bit different there, the software on screen. So that's a nice touch as well. Now moving on to iMessage, you're gonna see that if I click this here, we do have Memoji stickers, but first we're gonna talk about this quick path typing, which is a swipe texting for the iPhone SE. Now, I think this is great for this phone because this is already an easy phone to use one hand. Add in this quick path typing and it's even easier now and more quicker and efficient. So very excited about this for this four inch device. I think it's great on bigger phones, but it's also really great on this smaller phone right here. So a lot easier to type with that. Now, Memoji stickers are here. We're getting back to those now. You can see that you also have Animojis here stickers in the messaging app. So you're getting some things that you typically would only see on the $1,000 iPhones, which is a great way uh, to make the SE feel a little bit more modern, I would say. So really do like that we're seeing these features here on the four inch A9 device. This is really nice stuff. You'll be able to do those Memoji stickers. You've seen Apple perform on stage as well for this phone. So really, I think if you're into this stuff, you're gonna be very happy. Now, moving on to the health application, there's not much change here in health besides cycle tracking for the ladies, menstrual cycle tracking. So it's gonna be a pretty nice update for you. Now, in terms of the wallpapers, we do have a few, like a green, a blue, a pinkish, like orange color, as well as a black wallpaper. And these all change if you turn on light or dark mode. We'll see if we get more as we get closer to the final release, but this is the first beta. And uh, I do like these wallpapers, but still, the older ones are still there. So if you like those, a lot of those are still there as well. And in dynamic wallpapers, there's not too much different here to speak of for this iPhone SE. Now, when it comes to photos, they visually look a lot better than before, I feel like, and it's gonna be easier to find things and, you know, pinch out and, you know, years and dates and sharing with friends. Photos just gets a nice visual update here to 13 on your SC. That's pretty much what I wanna say there. Now, in terms of photo editing and video editing, it's gonna get a lot better even on the small SE. You have a lot more tools than before to get the picture the way you want it to look. And with this not being the best camera on this four inch device as most iPhones, this is gonna be very important, I think, to SE users are still posting on Instagram and stuff like that, maybe making a YouTube video. You're also gonna be able to go ahead and rotate the video if you shot it in portrait and then you want to turn it around so that's pretty cool now in music the main difference here is going to be 
lyrics. You're going to be able to see lyrics when you are, you know, listening to songs. So if you want to sing and sing along and you forget the lyrics, there you go. Now in phone dialer, you're going to see bubbles look a little bit different as well as the icons at the bottom. Here's the bubbles at the top. iOS 12 just looked a little bit different than this. So a lot of little visual changes to just kind of make everything match up nicely. And Siri's going to intelligently be able to silence unknown callers. So goodbye, robo calls. Now we do have shortcuts here, but what's new here is the automation suggestions. So that's going to be cool. You know, if you use the shortcuts quite a bit on your iPhone device can help you get a little bit more efficient in your life. So shortcuts does get improvements here and it comes to the SE as well. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about here is the find my application. Now this combines find my friends and find my iPhone to give you an even more in-depth location tracking of your you know iphone if you lose it and with this four inch iphone pretty easy to lose this thing so i think that's great for you as well now in maps apple actually drove many many miles to get even more precise uh, map data so depending on where you're at you probably not going to see too much changes in terms of streets because if you're in a major metropolitan area it's probably there but you get 3d views better 2d views as well everything is just going to look a lot cleaner and a lot more like you know google maps for example on your apple maps so if you use apple maps i think you're going to like the updates here now reminders was built from the ground up rebuilt from the ground up and it looks a lot different a lot more organized so if you're the type of person who uses the reminders app a lot to schedule out your days things like that you can customize the colors and everything it's going to be uh, very coherent and very easy to understand for you. I think you'll enjoy the reminders for your SE. Now, this next feature is a breakthrough feature for people who are, you know, disabled. They don't have feeling in their hands. They need to use their voice for everything in life. The iPhone is actually usable now uh, just with your voice. In addition, if you're just lazy or you got your fingers dirty from eating or something or you got your phone at a distance and you needed to do something really quickly, you have this access to voice control. Here's an example of it. Long press clock, tap create alarm, and you can see it's going to go right in to that alarm. So really, it's a nice feature, and I think it's going to be breakthrough for many folks. Now, the iPhone SE also brings 3D touch-like shortcuts through a long press. Now, I knew Apple could do this for the longest time, but it's here now. So your SE basically gets what the iPhone 6S had as a selling point before here in iOS 13. So great new feature for those people who wanted to use 3D Touch for the longest, and now you got basically what that offered on your iPhone SE, great stuff. Now Safari looks visually a little bit different. You can go ahead and change the reader mode right there, hide the toolbar, go up to 300 and scale, but iPad OS is where Safari really gets better with the full desktop browsing. Now in Control Center, if I click the Bluetooth and hold it down, we now can change it right here from Control Center. I've been wanting this forever, glad it's here in iOS 13. Now, one area you're not going to see too much of a change at all is the camera. It looks nearly identical, if not exactly identical to iOS 12. You still cannot change your video settings and everything right from the camera app itself. So that's a little bit disappointing, but that's the way it's going to be for iOS 13, at least as of now. Now, if I hold down the settings, you can see I go into battery. You also have this new thing in the battery health settings called optimized battery charging, which is going to help with keeping that battery at a maximum capacity a little bit longer. So how about performance on the iPhone SE? And the first thing you're going to notice when you download iOS 13 is that, wow, this feels snappier and slicker than before. A9 is getting a little bit old in the Apple world, but still this phone performs admirably well on this 13. It actually feels faster than 12, although buggier, it still feels snappier than 12. So Apple is not lying about their two times faster app launches. I'm feeling it already on the SE. So you got stuff to look forward to. Overall, SE is exciting here on 13, bringing features we never even thought we would get like these quick shortcuts that are kind of like 3D touch. Thumbs up if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, and informing. Let me know your thoughts down below. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy SE on 13 and peace.